Hi, I'm Justin from ArcSky. Today in this video, I'll be going through a basic photogrammetry workflow. So we're out here on this ranch site. We're going to do a photogrammetry mission over some of the ranch buildings and some of the miscellaneous terrain out here. Next to me, I have the X55. I've got the Herlink controller and I have the Sony ILX LR1 mapping package. Note that I already have the X55 powered on and the Heerling controller is already powered on. So we've already planned this photogrammetry mission back at the office. The only thing I need to do out here is simply load it onto my Heerling controller. So I'll go into the plan tab here, click on the file icon, open from storage, select the plan that I previously planned, and now it's loaded onto my Heerling in the plan page the next step is simply to upload it to the X55. Once that's done, I'll go back to the fly view. And now we're ready to take the X55 over to its takeoff location and do our pre-flight checks. Okay, so now we have the X55 at the takeoff location on the takeoff and landing pad. We've already run through our pre-flight checklist. If you want to know more about that, you can find that in our operation manual. I'm also going to check on my Heerlink controller to make sure that all of our fail-safe settings are what I'm expecting. So I'm going into the vehicle setup, safety tab, making sure my RTL altitude is appropriate for the location where I'm flying here today, and also making sure nothing else has changed with my default fail-safe settings for things like low battery, controller loss, etc. So once that is all good, I'll go back to my fly view and we should be ready to get started with our mission here. To execute the mission flight, the first thing I'm going to do is arm the X-55 and then hover a few meters above the ground and I'll be waiting a few seconds for the geotagging process to initialize and show me that things are ready to go. Okay, once that good to go icon turns green, should be good to proceed to our standard control check. So I'm gonna do pitch, roll, yaw, and a little bit of throttle. That all feels good. So now I'm going into the gimbal tab. I'm gonna point the camera down, close that out, and then start the auto mission. Keep in mind, during the mission, you can always press the loiter button to pause the mission and manually fly the X-55, or you can press the return to launch button to return to home. So at any time, you can also press the auto button to return back to your mission and continue flying. Okay, once the X-55 finishes the mission flight, it's going to fly back to the takeoff location and execute landing. This is all a fully automated process. Also, if you want to make any small adjustments at this time, you can, but the rate is just very limited. Once the X-55 lands, you should see the prop stop spinning and the ILX payload will start to process the images. You have to wait until this process is complete before powering down the X-55. 
And once you see that the geotagging was successful, you can power off the entire system, the X55 and the HeroLink controller. Okay, so now that the X55 is landed and powered down, the next step is to remove the SD card from the Sony camera. And then you can take those files, put them on your computer or workstation, and continue your post-processing from there. So that's been a high level overview of the photogrammetry mission workflow with the X55. I hope that you found this video useful and please stay tuned for more videos like this coming up in the future. Thanks.